Hello everyone! In the last video we looked at how we can do photo filters and in this time, like you can see, this application is not really complex. So this time I want to do some more complex stuff so that you can choose here with a bar all the filters which you have. And I think let's get just started. So first of all I go here to the body property where we have here this build image. So it is representing this here on the right side. And I want to wrap it into a list view. Therefore I take here column and I write here list view. And then I want to put under it something. So I write here const size box height 12. And under it we want to build some filters. So I call it here filters. And we will create this method. So here I write widget build filters. And here we first of all return a new widget, which is called filtered image list widget. And I will just copy this name and go here inside of this widget folder, which we have created and create a new file. And I call it here also filtered image list widget. Okay, now we have here this class and we make it also extendable from, from a stateless widget. And basically what we want to do with this widget is we want to put here two things inside. First of all, a list of filters because we want to show like multiple filters in a list view. And the next thing what we want to put inside is an image. So I take here the same format like we did last time. And yeah, if you haven't checked it out, I forgot it. But if you haven't checked it out the last videos, then check them out because here is what we built so far. and then you know exactly what I'm doing here right now. So I will also copy this image from the other widget. So we use this import as image and I also import this filter and we will also create here another argument value changed and here inside I put the filter so that we can give the filter which we later select outside and then we can handle this here later. So let's generate this constructor and yeah, that's it, I guess. I will also make all of them required. And now we can care about this build method. Basically what we are going to do here is we use a list builder where we want to show all of our filters. And we want to put here, first of all, the item count inside. So we take here the filters.length that many filters we have, we want to show all the filters. And here we have a context and an index, which we will then build. So I write here something like filter, and then we go over all of our filters and get the current filter of our index. And now we want to build something for the filter. So I just take this filtered image widget, which we have created in the last videos. And I just copy this one and then I return it here. And here we need to put inside first of all the filter. So we put one, this filter here inside. Then we put the image inside, which we have also here as a parameter. And we have here also something which is a success builder and an error builder. So what is if this filter is applied to this image, then we want to show it here. So we get some image bytes back from this success builder. And then we need to build this image byte. So you can also look at how we did it last time. So here we have this success builder and this other thing. I just copy them right now and I do it exactly like this. We had a height for this image last time and also fit height, but we don't need this this time. So I just remove this here and I also wrap this image memory into another widget because we don't want that just an image is showing here like in a square format. We want to show it in a rounded format. So I will put here another widget inside and this is the circle avatar widget. And this has a field which is called radius and I set it simply here to 50 and the background color I set to white. And yeah, I think that's it. We also need to change here the error case. So I will also take here this uh, circle avatar and here I put some icon inside. So let's see, report icon we take for this thing and I make it bigger size 32. So I guess almost it. Let's maybe try it. So go here into our main file 
and I simply need to import this file first of all. Then I go here inside and I need to set the filters and image. So first of all the filters and here we set it to this list preset filters. This is again the list with all the filters which we get from this plugin which we are using. And yeah, I simply copy this name and then I put all of these filters into this list widget. Then I put also the image into the in this widget. Then I also put this image into the widget. Image is exactly this image which we have picked before. So it's this image here. And what else do we have here? Something like unchanged filter. So we get like a filter which we have pressed later. And if we have pressed this filter, then we want to call this set state and we set the current filter to this new filter. And I think we haven't implemented this yet in this list widget, so let's do it quickly. So I will simply wrap another widget and this time I call it here inkwell. And this inkwell has an attribute which is called on tap. And here we want every time to call this on changed filter and we simply put the filter inside which this list view is currently showing. Okay, let's try this out. So we have everything set up and I will just reload it right now. And if we do this, we get first of all a small issue because the filters list gets the whole size in height and it's not allowed, so we need to limit it. So what I will do is I wrap this here around with a container widget and I set a height to a height and I will also create here another field const double height and we set it here for example to 150 and now you see here we get the images as filters they also load something here but we want to change also the direction we don't want to show them like in this format so what we do is we show them here with scroll direction and then we type here axis and then horizontal. So this will change the direction of this list. And now you see already here these filters. And if you tap on one, then it's nothing working right now. So that's what we need to change. And we also want to change how this looks like. To change this look and feel of these lists, I will also do some other things. So I will put here around this filtered image widget a container. And here I give it a padding in all directions with four so we get a little bit space between these images and I will also put this here into a column so I want to sh display the filter name under this image so I put it here into a column and under this image I want to write a text so I take here the filter which we get and simply display the filter name. Then you see here directly the filter name. I will also give it a style. So set it to font way bold. And I will also put a little bit space under this image. So I put it here to eight and now it looks much better. To change it even a little bit more, I will also put here at the top for this whole list view, a color. So I put it here to colors black with opacity 01 and now we have here this gray background color maybe I set it a little bit higher so you see it also and I realized that the circle avatar is not working properly so instead of the child property we take here background image and then we need to take here the memory image instead and if you hot reload it then you see the circle avatar around it so I think it looks much better right now I will also center this image and text in this gray box. So I go here at the top and go to the column where we have this image inside and the text. So we have this image and the text inside and I will just center it with main axis alignment. And then I simply write here main axis alignment center. I think that's it. Um, I also went to this main page and also put this image equals to null and return a container because if that's the case that the image is not selected here in the beginning, then we need to write this case so that there's no error going here on. And we will also change here something of this filtered image widget. So I want to put here a different loader inside for this image and also different loader for this one. So I will build here simply another error builder, loading builder in this case. So I copy this and I put it also here inside 
And here, if we load this filter and apply it this to an image, then we want to return here our loading builder instead. And yeah, that's it. So we need to change here something. We see here some error. So we go here inside and for this one, we need to implement the loading builder. And I will just put here again, the circular progress indicator inside, wrap it with a widget of center. And I will also set here a container around and set a height to this height here so that the loading is centered around this image. And we also do this maybe here. We set also height of this height in error case. So you can add here not more if you like. And we also need to do the same thing. So I just copy this and put it here into this widget. So I put it here under this that we have here a specific loading. And this time I want to keep the same size. So I go here and put the circular avatar inside. And yeah, so if we now reload it, then we should see that we every time have the loading here inside like this. It doesn't look that great. So I will also put here some background color inside to make it look much to change the color, I will also put here the background color to white. And if you hot reload it, then you will see what it is doing. So we have here this background color and then we see this loading indicator if here are some changes for this color. All right, so that's it about this widget and let's try it out. So if I click here on something, then you see it changes directly the effect like it expected. And we simply can go here through all of this list or we select just no filter in the case that we don't want any filter. So that's it about this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I think it's like really simple solution here. You can simply change the filters and you can also change it here, the image and set your own filter if you like. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon. Bye.